Hello, Hateless Gaming here, bringing you a EVE Online guide. Today, we are going to go over resistance, what they mean, and how you can fit your ship to different resist profiles and whatnot. But the first thing I'd like to cover is that every ship has four resist types. We got a, uh, a EM right here, which is the blue one. We got thermal, which is red, and kinetic, which is white, and explosive, which is yellow. So I, I've... I, I've got myself here, which I'm just going to challenge to a duel. I'm going to go pilot, invite to duel. And I've got this stupidly tanked, um, I, I, I've got this stupidly tanked golem here, which is going to be a great example because I can keep it alive forever and have this shoot. So... With an EM resist of 38, I'm going to shoot myself with EM damage. I should expect about 446 damage a rocket is the base damage on this Garmer. So if I start shooting myself here, see the incoming damage. I'm doing 200, I'm taking 278 damage here. Uh, what that means is that's going to be the 446 minus 38%. I, I don't know exactly how this is working. It should be a little bit more than that. Well, actually, this is nearly 50%. Um, so I, I, I'm i taking the damage. So if we turn on our hardeners and increase our resists, uh, it is a bit of a diminishing return. I got two adaptive invulns. We put the first one. It's going to bring us up to 57 resists. It's going to almost knock our damage in half because we have 55 resists. The second one's going to have a diminishing return. And instead of giving me 30% 30, 30 more resist, it's going to give me about 20% more. We'll knock it down to about 144. As the resistance goes up, uh, how, how the math works. So if, say, you had 50% resist and you added 50% more resist, you would go to 75. Because that's half the damage. Uh, the, the, the way it works is the incoming damage is multiplied by the remainder so if if we have 50 percent resist there's 50 percent the damage is cut in half if we have 75 percent resist we only take 25 percent of the damage from whatever's shooting us so that that's how that works if we get into silly numbers like we switch this uh, i'm gonna stop shooting myself for a second and we're gonna switch to explosive damage and what's gonna happen is our, our resists are going to be 69 to begin with. So we're, we're already taking as much damage as we were before. If we turn on our two invulns, we're going to go to 84. The damage is going to drop down to 72. And then if we do an additional minus 55%, it's not going to bring us up to 84. It's going to bring us up to 92. So now we have 92 resists. That's about half. There's no stacking penalties here. That's about half. We're taking 38 damage. Now, for the second one, there's going to be stacking penalties. We're only going to get about 45% more resist. So it's going to cut the damage in half again. But uh, cutting that damage down by 45% is far less percentage on the resist. But it's going to have the effect on the damage. So we're going to go from 92 to 96, I believe. So it's only going to be 4%. But that's going to cut our damage down a lot. Or 92 to 95, so it only changed by 35% or by 3%, but we went from 38 damage to 25 damage a shot, as you guys can see here in this tiny text. So now we're only taking 5% damage from whatever is shooting us. So if something is doing 100 damage to us and we get 95 resist, it's going to drop that down all the way to 5 damage, uh, which is 5% of the damage. That's, that's how the math works on these. Uh, the effective HP is calculated the same way. Uh, when you're looking at this defensive menu here, when you see this number, it's assuming that they shoot EM damage through your armor or EM through your shields. And they're going to do explosive for our armor, and then it doesn't matter what they do for the hole. But that, that's my effective health, assuming that they shoot the perfect damage profile every time. Uh, different weapon systems have different damages, different NPCs tank different things. And I'll cover that in another video, what NPCs do what, and what um, what guns do different profiles. But that's kind of what I got for resist for you. It's just a basic kind of how to fit a ship for the resist, and kind of 
why you see the numbers be weird like that. The uh, like I said, if you add fifty percent to fifty percent, it's seventy five, which doesn't make sense, but it does make sense after you math, uh, because twenty five percent is half of of fifty percent, and that's that's how the resistor are calculated. That's the shortest explanation I can give. Uh, everybody fly dangerous, be sure to fit your ships properly, and have a good day.